Hello and welcome. It's really great to see you. I'm David Greenberg and welcome here, especially if you're a first time viewer. And so what I want to do on this bright and sunny late afternoon, just as the sun is about to start going below the horizon, well, maybe not immediately, but I want to do a quick video here and talk about one of the top biohacking slash life or health hacks that I have discovered and implemented in my own life that can make a really big difference for you and for anyone who wants to improve their health. So this is really for anyone at all who wants to proactively or preventatively or even in terms of intervention make improvements to your health. So quick intro, if you're brand new to my work, my name is David Greenberg. I am an animist. I'm an educator. I'm also a multimedia artist and I'm also a business growth advisor and business consultant. And one of the hats that I also carry and wear is that of a biohacker. Now, I don't particularly consider myself to be a professional biohacker. Um, I'm more of someone who just has come to care enough about my health to investigate, to do research, to try out different strategies on myself, to, to be willing to experiment on myself. And because uh, that's really, frankly, the only way that we can truly determine if something's going to work or not. Um, all the scientific data in the world is great, but ultimately there is no way to do a, a causal, you know, a causative study on human beings in a moral and ethical way. At some point we have to just rely on intuition and basically just giving it a try. What I particularly love about this strategy and, and this particular technique is it's so natural, it's completely free, it's something that you can do every single day, it's readily available, and it really makes a big difference. And that is grounding, grounding, or what some people call earthing. And actually, that's what I'm doing right now. You can't see it, but um, I've got my bare feet on the earth. And so I'm literally grounding as I'm recording this video. So what is grounding and why is it important? Well, first of all, I would just say don't get, don't get over analytical about these things. So if you're curious to see if it has any impact at all, I would say just try it. It's, it's perfectly natural to put your bare feet on the ground. I know that in today's world where we're so used to wearing shoes, rubber shoes that insulate us electrically from the earth, that we, you know, it may seem like that's not the natural thing to do, but it really is. And if you think about it, early human beings and even today in, in, in certain tribes and cultures, people still walk around barefoot a lot. Uh, in the West, it's less common, but people, there are some people who do that. So I would say just try it. See what, see what effect you get. But there is a science behind it and there's a reason why it's so important. And I think there's several dimensions to it, like anything of value in life, it's not just one thing. So from my limited perspective of research, because I rely mostly on the fact that I know that it works from my own experience, but just based on a little bit of research, I can tell you that one of the main things that it does is it allows the body to regain and replenish electrons. So we are electrochemical beings. Our bodies run on electricity and chemical processes and interactions and so forth. So we, so there is a need, there is a requirement to have electrons in our body, free flowing electrons to flow in order to allow these pro certain processes to take place, right? Everybody's familiar with the fact that the brain and the heart and muscles rely on electricity to some extent, but you don't really need to understand the nitty gritty science to get it. So over time, your electrons become depleted because your body is using them up just like any other required material to, to run these different processes in your body, including processes that allow you to heal, 
to heal from the date, even from just the day-to-day -day wear of living, not much less, you know, a disease process or something more severe, but I'm, I'm just talking like from a day-to-day -day perspective. So one of the one of the major benefits of grounding is it gives you an immediate replenishment of electrons and allows your body to balance it, balance itself electrically as required. And obviously there may be different requirements depending on your specific situation. So your body is actually a very advanced technology if you want to think about it that way. And, and your body on its own will be able to determine how much how many electrons or how much flow it needs and then we'll just absorb that as required so that's that's the beautiful part of it so that's one aspect but there are other aspects of grounding that i think also contribute to its benefit and so one of them for example is that it's going to turn a little bit because the sun is pretty bright okay so one of the other benefits is when you connect to the earth, now the earth is alive, just like we are. When I say just like we are, it's not ex the earth is not exactly like we are, but it is alive. It is it infused with life, just like everything on the planet, and you and I, and all the plants, and all the animals, and even the so-called inanimate objects are still are infused with some level of life. It's just they're not necessarily vibrating at a at a level where we can pick up on that life easily. But as an animist, one of the things I've come to realize is that everything is alive and in fact everything exists in the mind of what some people call God or the all or basically it's like everything is one giant universal mind. So the earth is a being that's alive and when you ground yourself, in addition to getting that benefit of replenishing your electrons, you are also reconnecting back to a being who in part exists or part of whose existence is to sustain all of the life on the planet which includes you and i and all the living beings and it allows you to connect to an ancient wisdom and all the knowledge and all the store of information that is held within the mind as it were of the earth and so what one thing that you'll discover is that when you start grounding you are going to be grounded in your thoughts and in your contemplations. You're going to find, you know, you're going to become more clear-headed. It's going to be easier for you to think and make decisions and gain insights and tap into your intuition and just generally have more of a holistic mindset. That's one of the other benefits of grounding. And you may tap into certain, you may get inspired even to take on creative projects that you have been contemplating but perhaps haven't been able to do or just haven't gotten around to doing. So this is another additional benefit is you're going to feel more connected to all that is. You're going to reconnect yourself back to creation vis-a-vis -vis your connection with the earth which is again it's a living being. It's just a living being of a much larger physical manifestation but also we could say perhaps even um, you know dimensionally greater and certainly older in terms of being a living being it's certainly much older than you and I so we're you have the ability to tap into all this wisdom and again this is something that the ancient cultures those who lived more closely aligned with nature and the natural way of things and more in harmony with natural law and uh, the you know the truth the true uh, natural sciences that go beyond just the physical sciences like they already knew that intuitively they already more intuitively connected to that and that's why they would that's part of the reason why they would walk barefoot because why would they not want to maintain that connection to the earth and to all of her wisdom and you know her knowledge and understanding so that's that's another benefit and when you start to ground regularly you're going to feel that. So the so grounding, putting your feet on the ground directly, I think this is the best way to do it. It's the most natural way. As biohackers, we are sometimes looking for ways to adapt based on the modern society and kind of what's going on. So I will say that there is a technology 
mean, it's, it's not a very advanced technology, but we'll say there are products out there where you can, for example, buy a bed sheet that keeps you grounded while you're sleeping at night. And what's great about that is you get literally six to eight hours on average of grounding, continuous grounding, which keeps you in balance and probably will accelerate your healing because of the amount of time. Because again, your body's gonna know, you know, you're not gonna overcharge your body. Just like a battery that knows when to stop charging, it has that intelligence. If you think about it, if you charge your cell phone, it's not gonna overcharge, it's gonna stop when it gets to 100%, maybe less depending on the settings of the battery. So your body is the same way. As a technology, your body is gonna know when it has enough electrons, so you're not gonna overcharge yourself. At least that's my experience. So the great thing about that is you give your, you maximize the amount of time that your body has to replenish and then you're good. And I would, I have not personally used that because I just do grounding directly on the earth because I find as many opportunities to do that. But if you have the opportunity or if you are working a lot at a computer desk, you can even get a grounded mouse, for example, mouse pad, grounded seating pad. So you can maximize the amount of time that you're grounding. So that might be something worth looking into. Like I said, I don't personally use those products, but I think that they have merit. And depending on your lifestyle, it could be a really good idea. But I would say if you are someone who, like many people, is struggling with some aspect of your health, you're having some kind of health challenge and some kind of healing processes, then you're gonna almost certainly wanna give this a try, especially if you have not been grounding yourself regularly. I think you're gonna be maybe pleasantly surprised or pleasantly shocked at how valuable it is. So I wanna encourage you to do that. And that was really the main purpose of this video for me to come on here and just share with you this amazing biohack that has made, frankly, a really big difference in my own life. And it uh, looks like my timing is perfect because the sun is now just starting to go below the, it's not below the horizon in this case, it's below the, the buildings and the trees that are here, but it's pretty low. So I think that's a good sign that we're gonna end this video. And I appreciate you as always. I wanna invite you to go check out all my other content on this channel. So I wanna invite you to subscribe to the channel, smash through that like button, leave a comment. I'd love for you to come back and leave a comment if you give this a try and, and you know what your experience is. Because that's really what I wanna hear is like that you took action, that you gave this a try, and here's what you experienced as a result. And I'm telling you, I'll just end with this one thought. Your body, technologically, if you wanna think about that way, or in terms of how it works, it is very, very advanced. And your body's gonna give you positive feedback when you do these things that help it to heal and nourish. Just like you get negative feedback from pain, discomfort, inflammation. These things all serve a purpose. They're, they're, your body is trying to tell you, hey, I need help here. I need, I need you to step in and do something, such as grounding yourself. So when you do, your body's gonna give you positive feedback just like I've experienced. And I would love for you to come back after doing that and just share like what, what was your actual experience with that positive feedback? How did, it, how did it actually help you to improve your health? So please do that and uh, consider subscribing so that I can share more great content like this with you. I've already published more than 50 videos. So if you're brand new, definitely go and check out some of my other content I've got lots and lots of value here to help you to really uh, embrace a life, a holistic life based on natural law and based on essentially what we can call a return to nature, a return to our nature, to the natural way of being. So I appreciate you a lot and thank you for joining me and I will see you again on an upcoming video. Take care.